Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today we're going to take a look at all of our peppers that are ripe or starting to ripen, which is almost all of them. So let's go ahead and take a walk around the greenhouse and see what's ripe. We're going to start over here on the right side of the greenhouse where all of our capsicum annuum mexican varieties are so these are all the jalapenos which i'm going to skip over most of those because almost all of them are still green and not ripening yet but i am going to be picking a bunch of those green to make some cowboy candy here pretty soon uh, but i will stop at this one here this one was supposed to be a matapeno which is some type of jalapeno that is supposed to have white or variegated leaves but this one in particular did not have any variegated leaves and the peppers don't really look much like jalapenos at all they're pretty long and thin so i'm not sure i would even consider this a jalapeno but we do have it looks like we just have one ripe one back there let me harvest it here we go so this one is pretty ripe you can see the the skin actually is a little bit wrinkly and rubbery because it probably has been ripe for for a while now um, but i'm gonna go ahead and pick this one maybe i'll dry it or maybe i'll just i'm not sure what i'll do with it yet um, but we'll take that put that one aside there is one other one this one here has a few ripe pods on it this is the tam jalapeno which is a mild jalapeno or yeah pretty mild i haven't harvested any of these yet but we do have a couple of red ones here that are ready and also um, one back here and this one too seems to get a little wrinkly and rubbery when it gets overly ripe so that's kind of a bummer i might actually try smoking some jalapenos which is known as chipotle that's where chipotle comes from the only other Mexican peppers that we have that are starting to ripen are these last two and they ripen to more of a chocolate color so it's a little bit hard to tell when they're ripe but this one here is the Chilhuacal Negro so it's a really nice kind of a dark brown pod so that one looks like it's actually ripe so my plan is to probably dry these and make a Mexican um, pepper powder out of those so I've got two plants here and both of them have a fair number of pods that are ripening there's another one there and that one back there is loaded with them too so i need to harvest those here pretty soon and then the other one that we have back here is the pasilla pepper so these ones are really long skinny pods and this plant is totally loaded i've only got one of these but i think one is all i really need uh, but it's a little bit hard to tell when these ones are ripe too because they are a dark green and then they turn to uh, more chocolate colored uh, so they do have a few in here i think this one is a little bit more chocolatey but yeah it is kind of hard to tell but i'm gonna be mixing this in with the the chilhuacal negro to make that mexican chili powder but these two peppers are are very similar in taste Although I've never tried growing the Chihuahua Negro before, but I'm just going off of what I've read about this variety. Now we've got the, the fun one here. This is the Candy Cane Chocolate Cherry. That's got lots of variegated leaves. It's actually, it looks like it has more white than it does green on most of that plant. This little section here has more green, but we've got a lot of white and it does seem to be doing pretty well. And we do have finally one pod that is starting to ripen right here so i'm not sure if it's going to lose all of its stripes when it's fully ripe or not this is the first time i've grown this one um, but it's got some really pretty pods and i can't wait to try that one this one here is the bell room which is a cross between the mushroom pepper and a regular bell pepper we've had i think this might be the f3 or 4 but when i grew it last year the pods were kind of a bright orange and they were not bell shaped at all but this year when i'm growing it they're red and they are more bell shaped and this is a last year there was a some mild heat to the pepper but this year i'm not really getting any heat at all on these so i will definitely grow it again and i might try growing 
Um, I probably won't save seeds from these because I kind of prefer the, the mild heat. But it is, for a, a bell pepper, it is really, really productive. And that's one of the main reasons I stopped growing bell peppers, because they weren't very productive. But this one is actually pretty loaded with peppers. Unfortunately, I grew the shishito pepper here in the back in front of a bunch of really tall peppers. So he's getting a little shaded back there. We do have a couple of peppers that are starting to turn red. And I normally try to harvest these before they turn red or just as they are, because they're really a lot better um, before they ripen because the skin starts getting a little rubbery and wrinkly if they get too ripe. This one here is the Padrone pepper, which I've grown many times before. And I think it's more typically harvested while green as well, but we do have some that are starting to ripen and I don't think these get as wrinkly and rubbery when red as some of the other peppers that I've shown do. Um, but it can be a fairly spicy pepper, but these are really good on pizza. And we're going to be having a pizza party here um, probably in the next few weeks. So we're going to probably spice them up with some of these peppers. Well, the tallest pepper in the greenhouse by far is this Luchauer paprika, and it is really Full of pods. We've got a few that are ripened in here and I really plan on just using this for pepper powder. I might smoke some of these to make a smoked paprika but we've got one, two, three, four, there's probably five of them ripe in there so I'm kind of waiting till more ripen up before I do a big batch of pepper powder. I've got a couple of wax type peppers that have started ripening. This one here is the Gabby Hot Wax and they are pretty spicy. I plan to use these in pickling um, and they're probably better harvested before they turn red, but I just haven't had enough to harvest to make it worthwhile to make some pickled peppers. So that's why there's still some peppers on there. And I'm not sure how good they're gonna be once they're fully red because they start getting a little rubbery. So I'm not sure. I might end up just drying these ones that become overly ripe. So that's the Gabby Hot Wax. We've got two only two red ones on there. And then behind that is Wink's Yellow Hot. And we do have more that are starting to ripen back here. So maybe I will do a batch of, a small batch of pickled peppers here pretty soon. But I've been told these are a lot better when picked when they're kind of in, in the orange or just barely orange state. So those should definitely probably be picked here pretty soon. Um, but I've just been so busy that I haven't had time to get that pickling done. This Jolene's Rustic Italian is really full of really big pods. These got a lot bigger than I was expecting. And we've got quite a few that look like they're about ready to harvest. Um, I believe these are just a sweet um, pepper. And I haven't harvested any of these yet, so I can't wait to try them. But I'll, actually, I'm going to go ahead and harvest one of these now. Um, but yeah, this is looking like a really good pepper, so that'll be great in salads or just kind of eating fresh. Now we're on to our Korean gochu peppers, and we've got two different varieties. This one here is the Gyopo gochu, which is a new variety from second generation seeds. They're fairly small compared to my other uh, gochu pepper, and I haven't tried these yet so I'm not sure how spicy these are going to be compared to the other one I have um, but we've got quite a few that are ready to harvest there. I was wanting to make another gochu um, hot sauce that's kind of kimchi themed so I've made that before and it was really good but I want to make another batch of that hopefully this year and then the one behind it is the Korean gochu that I got seeds from Kangstar. So I'm not sure what variety it is, but it is by far my favorite variety that I've grown and I've tried quite a few, but we've got, it's hard to get back here, but we've got a few that are starting to ripen. And these ones actually stay ripe on the plant for quite a while without turning rubbery or wrinkly, which is one of the reasons I really, really like that variety because I'm kind of lazy about harvesting and I like a bunch to be ripe. Um, before I do a big harvest. So that's really one of the reasons I really like that variety. The last pepper that we have in the greenhouse that is ripening is the smallest pepper that I'm growing this year, and it's the Bikino. And they have cute 
little pods and we've got a ton of red ones there at the bottom of the plant. So I'm going to plan on harvesting those here pretty soon and this is another one I'm going to be making into pickles. And I just recently saw Chili Chump post a video on making a pickled honey pepper and I've got a ton of honey so I think I'm going to try that recipe. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. The only thing we have ripening outside of the greenhouse is our three tangerine tigers. The first one to ripen was this one here. So all three are putting out some different shaped and colored pods. So this one here ended up putting out some all red pods. Let me pick one here. So they are just all red, no stripes, and they are almost completely sweet with no heat. So I did have one the other day that had a little bit of heat kind of in the middle, but for the most part it was really sweet. The, the walls of the pepper were pretty thick, so it's a really actually pretty tasty um, pepper. It was very, very sweet. So I am planning on saving seeds from this one, and it'll just be known as the Tangerine Tiger Red, I guess, but I guess it's possible that seeds from this could also have stripes. So I'll probably grow that next year and I know a friend of mine is interested in seeds so I'll be passing those around. Now the next one is this one here. I'm not too happy with this one. It does look like it is getting some kind of very mild striping. It's kind of hard to see but the, the pods are kind of a dark orange and it's got just a little bit of striping. But the problem with this one is it's getting a lot of blossom end rot on the peppers. So here's an example of one that just came off the pepper earlier today. But here's, look, here's another one. So when they get this blossom end rot, they usually just end up falling off of the plant. But we've got quite a few here without blossom end rot. But I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too fond of dealing with blossom end rot on peppers. So I'm probably not going to save seeds from that one. Now this last tangerine tiger, the seeds came from uh, peppers that Batman grew last year and this one is throwing out lots of different shaped pods. We've got some like this, we've got some kind of more of a bonnet shape, and then we've got this one down here. This is the first one that's starting to ripen. It's kind of got a little point on the end, but it's hard to tell, but it looks like it just has very, very slight striping on it. I think the stripes might become more prominent once it fully ripens, um, but I'm pretty happy with this one. I, I just kind of wish the shapes were a little bit more consistent. I'm not sure if I'm going to save seeds from this one or not, um, but we'll have to wait and see if more of these ripen. But this is the first one to start ripening, so we'll have to see how the, the others look and also see how it tastes. I hope you enjoyed the pepper update and the mini harvest that we did today. I've definitely got a lot of work to do. I hope everything is growing well in your garden. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.